Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we will be talking about different kind of angles. The very first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to define an angle. An angle is just simply the amount of turn between two straight lines as you can see that thing. These lines are also called sides that have a common end point and this end point is called vertex. So, so this thing right now, this turn, whatever this turn in between these two sides is called an angle. An angle, of course, you know that thing, we can represent it by what? 30 degrees, we can represent it by 150 degrees, we can also represent it by negative 10 degrees, and on and on and on. Here we're going to be talking about the types of angles. The first we will be talking about acute angle and obtuse angle. An acute angle is always less than 90 degrees and the obtuse is always greater than 90 but less than 80 degrees as you can see in these figures. So I can give you an example. An acute angle could be I would say 45 degrees is an acute angle. It could be 30 degrees is another acute angle and even 89 degrees is an acute angle because all these angles are less than 90 degrees. How about obtuse angle? They are greater than 90 but less than 180 so they could be a what? 100 degrees could be a 125 degrees could be 179 degrees. These are all are the example of obtuse angle. Here we have right angle and straight line and once again over here the right angle is always exactly 90 degrees and we will be using this kind of notation like a box to represent our right angle. And over here once again make sure that this is our vertex this is our vertex and in this case this is our vertex as well and this is called straight line that is exactly 180 degrees that means those lines are simply opposite to each other. So the next examples are reflex angle. The reflex angle is always greater than 180 degrees. So that means it could be 200 degrees. It could be 270 degrees and on and on and on. So these are the example. That means any angle that is bigger than 180 is called a reflex angle and this is an example. How about full rotation? Full rotation we also call it, this is an example, that means you have completed a one cycle. That means you have completed a cycle or rotation and that amounts to what? That amounts to exactly 360 degrees. So this is simply 360 degrees. The next we're going to be talking about positive angles and negative angles. Positive angles are the angles in which if we go in an anti-clock direction, like means counterclockwise. C, C, W means if we go opposite to the clock direction, we call it counterclockwise direction. And negative, when we go clockwise direction, we call it C, W. So once again, if you start off to make an angle, the where you start off, this is called initial side, and wherever you stop, it is called terminal side and the angle in between this angle theta is the turn between these two sides. So this is an angle. Likewise this is our angle over here and this is the initial side where you're going to start off. 
So, and where you stop, this is called what? Terminal side. So, terminal side means where you stop and initial side where you start. Just keep in your mind, that's going to really help you when you go into trigonometry. And finally, we will be talking about complementary and supplementary angles. Complementary angles, if two angles add up to 90 degrees, we call them complementary angles. In this case, we have what? 30 degrees and what else? We got 60. Do they add up to 90? Yes, they do. So these 30 and 60 are called what? complementary angles. Another example I could give you a uh, what? I can give you uh, 10 degrees and 80 degrees because if you add them up that's gonna add to how much? 90 degrees. So that's the reason we're gonna say that they 10 degrees and 80 degrees are complete angles. There could be many more examples as you can think of as long as those angles add up to 90 degrees. Let's talk about now supplementary. Supplementary means if you add two angles and they add up to 180 degrees we're gonna call them supplementary angles. As you can see in this example one of the angle is 60 the other one is 120. If you add these two angles that adds up to how much? 180. No wonder we're gonna call them supplementary angles. So another example I could give you is what? How about I can say uh, 150 degrees and the other one that I'm going to give you is 30 degrees. If you add them up, so that's going to give you what? 180. So we're going to call 150 and 30 degrees as supplementary angles. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thanks for watching.